I think I needed to die a lot in my life uh -huh. early on in order to get me to the point I'm at now. I think the point that I'm at now spiritually would have taken me till I was like 80 if I didn't go through these experiences I had now. I genuinely feel a field of love around me. And I never felt mm. that before. I always felt unworthy and separate. Mm. Sometimes I looked at myself like a monster because a lot of people treated me like that. And I never really let it bother me, but it was in my subconscious. When you're at ease in time, there's more space for your demons to attack you. When I was at rest and I thought I was okay, my subconscious would like attack me with all these bad thoughts. A lot of it would come out and the more I died and worked through those demons, the more I became my authentic self. And my authentic self is really that I just want to love everyone of all races, religions, ethnicities, just people around me. Even people that don't like me, I uh -huh. choose to love even if they don't show me love. And a lot of the time that I followed my heart, the people around me have changed who were not kind people. And we talked about uh -huh. it earlier, humorless kind of mean people. I've noticed those people change just because I change. And as I get older, I want to use comedy to lower people's defenses and spread love and meaning through that. I love comedy. Comedy helped me survive all the things in my life. But I see it almost as a tool for me to use to bring meaning uh -huh. to other people's lives with ideas greater than myself. When I say experiencing love when you're dying, it's understanding that the people that you love and the ideas you love are already within you. And if you follow love, all of it will be attracted into the being of one.